Hi, I'm Dana Sterling, founder of Sterling Structural Therapy. And you might be familiar with me or with us uh, via our famous uh, video, Fascia and the Mystery of Chronic Pain, uh, with our famous demonstration of the fascia suit restriction. The next video was actually recorded before that video in early 2018. And it will tell you about a secret, right? The secret to why Strolling Structural Therapy uh, has been and is so effective for so many chronic pain conditions and diagnoses. And it doesn't just have to do with fascia. So please uh, take a moment and watch this video and we'll provide more information about this specific pattern of human anatomy that we base sterling structural therapy on um, and the following videos will start to define it more clearly um, and explain a little bit more when it comes to the anatomical foundation and basis of this let you in on a secret and this secret in our opinion, is a huge part of why Sterling Structural Therapy is producing um, pretty incredible results and even resolving issues that are not supposed to be resolvable due to cur um, in current medical literature. We believe we have stumbled onto an anatomical pattern that is actually a completely different way of looking at human anatomy. Now, I'm speaking specifically on the outside this means that the image that we normally have for anatomy, one of the most famous ones, is by Leonardo da Vinci, the Vitruvian man. And it's this image of perfect balance and symmetry. So first of all, we already kind of know that we're not fully symmetrical, right? You'll take a picture of this side of your face, different than this side of your face. So what if all of our stretching and strengthening and even some treatments for rehabilitation are based on an assumption, an axiom that we are symmetrical, but we're actually not? And what if there is a specific bias from left to right? So at Sterling Sexual Therapy, this is the foundation that makes this method unique and what we believe produces the result the incredible results that we're seeing. I'm gonna give you a tiny bit on, of data on this. We've had to look on the inside to figure this out. So if we look at the breathing diaphragm, and that is a big muscle underneath my lungs, that's like a bellows, basically makes me inhale and exhale. On every single human being, the Diaphragm on the right, first of all, look at that tendon that attaches into the spine. It is much, much bigger than the one on the left. And this is not a pathology, this is normal. That crux of the diaphragm is attached to three lumbar vertebra on the right and only attaches to two on the left. And along with that, we know this, this is everybody, that we have one low bless in the left lung because the heart is there. Just look at the size of those lungs. Do you think they're operating the same way? So what if your entire life from day one, your breathing pattern and musculature and stability of your entire torso is just a semblance and balance because we're bipedal. We're the only animal that is bipedal. But what if on the inside, you have this mechanical advantage of breathing with your right lung that with every breath, rotates you and pulls you down a little bit into the right side. How might we start to look at balancing out a system if we know that there's already a bias? So if I'm completely balanced, I should stretch both sides the same way. What if I'm not completely balanced? What if I'm off? Then maybe to restore balance, I should actually take what's called the unilateral approach and only stretch one side to produce the result for the entire system, for the symptom here, the symptom here, here, or there.